Welcome back, everybody. We are back with the food show called Tastiers with your host, me, Chef Smiley. Today, I, I want to uh, share some of, some of my spice. We call it the spices of life. These are the basic spices that you can get to, to or use to enhance the flavor for your foods, right? It's not just the salt or the pepper. We got, I, I kind of sectioned them out in three um, stacks so I could I kind of explain what you could use basically the basis of these flavors for, right? So this side, I'm going to start from right to left. Use this left to right. So I'm going right to left. We, <laughs> we, we use, a, this is a grimulated garlic, which, which I use um, more or less in, um, we'll say, uh, more or less my Indian style dishes, right? Because we got um, the bay leaves that you also use for, for that style of dishes, right? Curry powder is another spice, especially for the, the um, we'll say Indianish, um, Asianish style cooking, all right? And the cumin also is good for that, all right? So this is, just, this is the first stack. Oops, yes. First stack, we'll stack it back like that. And the second stack, thyme. The Caribbean, or Caribbean uh, cooking, we use a lot of, of thyme, even so, to, um, to enhance our, our uh, say, rice and soups, right? This, these are good spices. This is lemon pepper. So it's grated lemon with a little hint of pepper, but mostly when you use this, you can taste the, the lemon, all right? Poultry season, great for the chicken, man. Amazing. If you just don't want your chicken to be bland, you use the poultry season to enhance that flavor. Okay, we are getting, turning it up. We got the Southwest sizzle. If you like a little, uh, little spice, not too, too hot, the Southwest sizzle is great for that because it got uh, crushed um, peppers, seeds, and a little spice. This makes it the dish right, okay? But if you're looking for real heat, this is what you want, the Cajun seasoning, all right? This will give you the right enough a bite if, if you like it. Uh, spicy, okay? So that is a little bit of my second stack. As we move from right to left. Okie doke. So my last stack here, we got garlic powder itself. Now this section I would use more or less with the Italian style cooking. Right, they, they like to use a lot of garlic and onions and all that stuff in that style cooking, right? You got the, the, uh, the Italian seasoning, this is good for it. This you could use, um, mainly I use this for um, my style of roasted potatoes or we could use, say uh, even um, the sauce, pasta sauce. Great, great to enhance the flavor with that, right? Chopped onions go good with a, with a great mix. Mix of, um, we call it, um, I say pilas, okay? Basil, a nice little hint of sweetness when you add that to your, to your dish. And the rosemary, this definitely gives you that distinctive flavor in your dish, okie dokie. So, that is a little bit of the spices of life. I just wanted to share some of this with you guys, right? So you can get the gist of it. So we are going to take a quick break, and we will be back with more for you. See you later. Chef Smiley. Welcome back, everybody, to Taste the Ears with me, Chef Smiley, the host. And 
in this segment, I'm going to share with you about the cutting board, how to use it, and what one is better to use. And about knives, what knives is good for what. OK? So for me, everybody, we have uh, three type of boards, really and truly, we could use. Um, one being the plastic, the plastic with uh, that one is it's good in a sense because um, it has basically different colors for people that's not used to to cooking uh, or using certain uh, utens uh, meats and vegetables, for instance. Um, whereas you have your um, you have uh, a basic white for pretty much uh, fruit, fruit, um, and uh, we'll say that the, the, the red is actually used more or less for, for the meat, right? And then the green is pretty much for, for vegetables, which everybody loves, right? Who don't love good vegetables? Well, we have another one that is, is glass. You have the glass cutting board. But I particularly don't really like, like to use the glass because uh, more or less it's, it's when you're using your knives and stuff, it's, it's easy to slip away when you're cutting and stuff. You, you could slip, right? And then again, for the, 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 the plastic ones, you can get plastic in it while you're cutting and stuff. So that's, I really, I, for me, it's, it's all about the master chef. The bamboo wood is very good. Okay, this is this is what I prefer to use, and it's more stable, right? If you don't have this particular style board with the corners on them, right? The corners is is to help stabilize your board so it doesn't slide all over the place, right? If you don't have the corners on them, then you can use a, a damp towel or or a wet. Um, paper towel, even so, so that you could hold your board firm when, you, when you're using it. It doesn't slip, slip away from you, so you could hurt yourself, all right? We got our knives. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the particular style knives and what, what you can use them for or what they are used for, okay? So, Cuisinart. I like their products because they're very, very sturdy, right? This knife here now I use is as a, it's called a parry knife, really, and that is actually used for, for me, I use it more for like carving and like want to kind of decorating um, a, a, a fruit or a vegetable for, for um, display. I would use this knife for it. That's the paring knife, everybody. Here, we got a serrated um, blade. Well, not even serrated. This is, a, well, a steak. You can use this as a steak, steak cutter, right? As when you're eating your steaks, you know, cutting the steaks. This is, this is a perfect knife for that, all right? We move, we move onto the serrated knife, all right? So serrated is these, that means these bumps here at the bottom of the, the, um, the knife, right? And actually, this, is, this knife is better to cut more or less, um, you know, like cakes, uh, pies, sandwiches. You know what, as a matter of fact here, I'm going to bring in and actually give you a little demonstration here how this knife is used, right? So you see the, the edges here? It cuts right in and gives you a nice clean cut, as you see, right? The serrated clean cut. If you would use more or less a steak knife, it's, it's not as good. You see, everything just falls all over the place, right? But as I, again, I go on with the serrated knife, cuts it clean, all right? So that is what we use that knife for. As I move, 
to share with all you wonderful people that is supporting my show. We got a kind of um, fillet, flare. This one we would use more or less to, to, um, to say fillet fish or anything like that. We want to take the skin off of easy. This is what we would use this for. Or even say, yeah, good uh, vegetables, cut in. This one is good for that too. Right? And then my final knife. This one here is my favorite. Right? This one I use for cutting meat and hard, hard uh, vegetables or whatsoever. This one will slice through clean as a whistle. All right? So, style, holding the knife, you see here how I have the knife? That's the proper way to hold it. And then you bring your hand underneath, right? So you have the blade right in your palm, right? And for say, if you were thinking of cutting now, you know what, there's a lot, there's different techniques to use as you're cutting. A lot of people, they hold a knife like this, and that is no good, and they cut like with their hands out, right? But this is the proper way to hold your knife. Finger-wise, you want to have it like a claw, right? Where the board, the knife, now is hitting at the back of your fingers aren't out to get cut. You, you got the block in the knife, so your hand is out of the way and you won't cut off no fingers. Okay, so this here, this is the good knife for everything, pretty much. That's what I want to share with you in this little episode here. Stay tuned and I will be back with so much more for you. Thank you for viewing my show, Tastiers with Chef Smiley. <laughs>